uh, survey of 2017, 79% of employers said that they intend to hire MBAs. So it gives you a leg up when it comes to finding a job and uh, in beginning and growing a career. One thing that I think makes the MBA program stand out is its unique opportunity to uh, be available for customization to the students. Uh, so we have students who take a very fast track, some students who take a little bit longer. Uh, there's a great variety of classes that students can take. And I actually think that's a pretty unique thing that we offer students, uh, that they can customize their MBA experience to their needs and desires. ASCSB accreditation indicates that our MBA program provides excellent business education. Less than 5% of the business schools in the world has this accreditation. Also recently, UNLB had been designated as a Carnegie R1 research institution. It means UNLB shows the highest research activities. Uh, only little over 100 universities in the US, such as Harvard, MIT, and UCLA, have R1 status. From the student's perspective, simply it means our program is well recognized and your degree will be more valuable in the market. What makes our program really different is that I, I think hanging into our slogan different, daring and diverse um, is that I think it's the students plus the faculty um, and I think in an MBA program it's that mix that kind of takes the class to a different a completely different experience so when you can bounce ideas off of, of students that are that are coming in with completely different backgrounds and then you have faculty who many have done part-time MBAs or have um, worked you know complete careers prior to becoming professors you kind of get a really neat mix of ideas and you get creativity and actually there's a little bit of research to back that up um, cognitive diversity when you mix it with transformational leadership leads to team creativity Lee Business School is only in the top 5% of universities worldwide that have a dual accreditation. And by that we mean we have accreditation both in business and in accounting. So the most important lesson that I think students can learn from me and particularly from my class where we talk about managing people at work is understanding that people's experience at work has broader implications than just profits, productivity, and retention. That people's experience at work can spill over into other aspects of their lives. And so, as a manager, you play a very important role in people's lives. If people have a good day at work, they're likely to have a good day after work, uh, when they go home, to their families, to their friends, etc. And so your role as a manager, it has really big, broad implications. And realizing that if people can have a good experience at work, they're likely to have other aspects of their lives be enriched. So I think there's a lot of lessons you can learn from an MBA program, but I'm going to bring in something that I have been really stressing a lot with my students, uh, I guess in the past few years, is to think about knowledge as you go through our program, but also really through life, um, as a separate thing from attitude. So um, if you can, and I joke around with my students that, you know, don't think of, of a chapter in a book as a Facebook post. Um, whether you like it or dislike it really doesn't matter. Um, the idea is to try to figure out where is the knowledge, where's the, where are those nuggets that you can learn from, and then to figure out how to use them in some sort of positive way. And so I think walking into any degree, um, but especially an MBA, I tell my students, you are old enough now, you've been through a degree, you've had experience, it's time to kind of take the, the attitude barrier off um, and, and just kind of let yourself learn and, and let yourself enjoy the knowledge and not worry so much about whether you like it or not. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a difficult lesson, but I think once you learn it, you get a lot of benefits. Well, I think one of the real benefits of the UNLV MBA program is that it provides a depth of education and depth of experience rather than just one area. Students can indeed choose a concentration, but you get experience, you get exposure to all areas of business, which then adds to the ability to have flexibility and to change careers as necessary. I think the UNLV MBA program uh, provides a lot of opportunities for students to advance in their careers or even if they're wanting to change in their careers in many ways. One aspect of this is because it has this customizable role, a student is able to kind of determine their own path of where they want to emphasize uh, their time and their efforts. And so we give a lot of opportunities and tools for students to use uh, 
depending on what it is that they're wanting to get. If they're wanting to advance in their organization, if they're wanting to switch organizations or even switch careers, we're able to cater to many of those needs. Um, I think a lot of times people don't realize that to do an MBA you don't need to have a background in business. Um, Just to keep in mind that MBA is a big investment in terms of expense, time and effort. As an investment, you should think about from return on investment perspective. I think a UNLV is a definitely a good place to enhance your market value with reasonable cost. Some points that I think are important for students to consider as they're thinking about an MBA program is to think about the level of commitment and contribution that they're wanting to make. Because in an MBA program, there is a different expectation of contribution and commitment uh, than what is typically found in an undergraduate degree. One great thing in an MBA program is the network that is utilized, the friends that you make uh, within the program, and those last well beyond the program. And in order to best utilize that, uh, that network is to contribute to those networks. Uh, do it right. Uh, remember that the learning and the experience in the MBA program is more than just in the classroom. Yes, you can be in the classroom and you can get the grades and and move on, but the true MBA experience, is going back to one of the keys I mentioned before, one of the advantages I mentioned before, is the networking. So network with your fellow students. Uh, take advantage of opportunities to be engaged in the community. Network with your faculty. Strive for the entire complete MBA program experience rather than just the classroom experience.